Hello everyone, Kitin here and today I will be doing a different kind of video. For my first video of the year, I wanted to do a, a K-pop 2022 goals kind of thing but since I've never had an actual K-pop shelf until now, I decided that it would be a good opportunity to show you guys my K-pop shelf. I also changed the way I did my binder. So this is kind of like a K-pop shelf tour and binder tour. And then after that, I will be talking about the goals that I'm setting for myself for the year. So before we actually begin the shelf tour, I just wanted to show you guys where I've been putting my, um, my season's greetings calendars. So up there, I have 2PM's 2019 season's greetings calendar, then Sungyu's 2021 uh, calendar, and then 17 house that was from 2020. I do have 17's 2021 and Golden Child 2021 as well, but they are not on this shelf, they are on my headboard. Okay, so this is my 2 p.m. FD Island shelf. So, yes, I do know that my signed copy of Zapping has. I need to fix the wrapping. It fell, so I'll be doing that sometime later. But yes, that is my signed four member signed FT Island zapping album so this was also signed by Sung Hyun back when he was still in the band and then he left right after so I'm just very fortunate to have this copy and then we have 2pm's uh, gentleman's game monograph and then 2pm's this is for my hottest like concert photo book thing two versions of must Junho's canvas FD Island's Jump Up Mini Album, FD Island's Zapping, What If, FD Island, I think that's Memory in FD Island, Where's the Truth, Double Day, Lee J. Jin's Japanese like single thing, and then Oh My Girls Nonstop, I picked up, I don't collect Oh My Girl, but I picked up this album because I really loved it and it was an amazing album. Over here is my infinite shelf, so we have this um, fan-made light, fan light. Um, it's for the Come With Me, Come With Me in Manila Kim Myung Soo fan meeting in Manila, which I went to. OT7 signed B back. There you go. And then of course the second version of the Yobong, which I really love a lot. And then we've got um, the limited edition of Reality and Infinite Only. Then we have Top Seed. Over the Top, In Spirit, Season 2, Destiny, Be Back, First Invasion, Infinite Eyes, New Challenge, Reality, um, and then Reality and Infinite Only, so these are the normal versions. And then we move to the solo stuff, so we have Sungyu's Won't Forget About You, his Seasons Greetings, Photo Book, one copy of, one version of Inside Me, one version of Woo Hyun's With, one version, uh, well, it was just one version anyway, of Elle's single memory, Kim Myung Soo's photo book, Elle's Bra Bravo Beautiful Part 2, Infinite Summer Concert, Infinite Rally 3 DVD, and that brown thing over there um, are postcards from Sung Yoo's concert, The Day. As you can see, L is my number one male ultimate bias in K pop, so I do get extra stuff like photo books and the like. Elle's single memory. I have I have two shelves for G Friend. So this is the first shelf. So I have the second version of the um, their light stick. Uh, all number signed lots of love. Jinmi signed time for us and G Friend's labyrinth albums. This was the first shelf. The second shelf has my first uh, version of the light stick and Unha signed fever season. Um, can you see that properly? There you go. And then we have um, all copies of Fever Season, all copies of Time for the Moon Knight, Limited Edition, Time for Us, Will Pergus Knight, Tongue of the Sirens, and Go Go G Friend, the DVD from 2019. Okay, so this is my first 17 shelf. So as you can see, I do have the Going 17 photo book, the OTU photo book. This is the photo book from the Carrot Kit. This is the photo book from their season's greetings last year. And then OTU DVD in Seoul, one copy of AL1, all copies of your choice. Unode, Hengare, 17 Carat, You Made My Dawn, and the 11 Letter 
repackage album. Hengara is not my favorite album design wise, so I'm actually thinking of do doing the whole DIY thing um, and maybe combining some stuff and then, you know, just making the DIY album in itself. I have an idea of how I want to do that, but let's see if I can actually do it this year. This is my second 17 shelf, so I do have two shelves because I know that this collection is gonna grow a lot and so I decided to just house my 17 light sticks. So I have the first version, second version, and then semicolon, I have Joshua, and then I have Doc Yum behind him because Joshua and DK are my biases. One was also one of my biases and I wanted to get the group version, but I haven't gotten it yet. Maybe in the future I will. Okay, over here we have um, ONF and Pentagon. So I do have an eight member signed with and an all member signed um, spin-off ONF um, CD. So I do have um, the fourth generation uh, Pentagon universe kit photo book, uh, the black hall with all versions of Lover Take. Then this is the um, Fuse first generation like little magazine photo book that came with it. Uh, you Complete Me, We Must Love, City of ONF. So we have um, Kinos and Hong Sok's version of Pentagon The History. This is a Japanese album. I don't normally get Japanese stuff, but I caved. Um, and then we have uh, ONF stuff, so popping, my name, two copies of Go Live, one copy of Spin Off, and on and off. This shelf houses Golden Child, One Us, and One We. So I do have Golcha over here. We have the Untact Now photo book. And then we have a Reboot, the deluxe version, the normal version, Without You, Wish, Take a Leap. Uh, I like. I, like, I call this Miracle, their second mini album. Uh, then Pump It Up, Game Changer, Goldeness, the limited edition of Game Changer. We have One V. So this is one. I believe that this is one. Yes, I have two copies of that. This is a book in memory, Planet Nine. And this is my one and only copy, one and only One Us item that I believe lived. Yes. Over here, I have CIX's discography. I'm just missing the first two albums. And this is um, an all-member signed K&K &K album. I helped with their Make Star GoFundMe thing. Um, yes, that continues CIX's discography. I have SF9's Turnover, K&K's Airline album, two versions, very various official albums, very including Very Chill. Yeah, I'm missing a couple, but I'm planning on getting those in the future. The Boys' is No Air album, this is the off-air version, the limited one. Boys' is Reveal album, I have the DIY version, and I believe that other version is the Moon version. I have one copy of Thrilling, one copy of The Stealer, and The Boys' is All Area Access photo book. Okay, so this cube, this part of the shelf, has my NCT albums, my Monster X albums, my GOT7 albums, and my EXO albums. Initially, this is this cube is really just meant for Monster X, but then I just decided to put everything here in the meantime. So, first off, I have the Monteries, uh, Monster X Monteries DVD. And then beside that is my Schumann member cover Sing For You. And then over here we have NCT's um, Neo Zone T version, NCT Dreams Reload. I think that these two albums are fantastic albums, that's why I kept them. I kept one copy of each. And then for Monster X, I'm only collecting uh, two versions per album. So for um, I have for Fantasia X, um, Fatal Love, and then we have one version of The Code, two versions of The Clan, part one is that lost i think it's lost and then their second mini album rush two versions of one of a kind then this is one version of obsession so i actually had three versions but decided to just keep this one since it's kind of a combination of all a schumann member version of exodus and his member cover of member version of don't fight the feeling and Bam Bam's Ribbon. We have One Wee's um, recording. Um, 
album. That's the first one. And then we have an all seven member signed um, ONF album. And over here are my Japanese stuff. I used to collect Arashi. So those are some of my albums and some of my concert DVDs. So yeah, that was it for my shelf tour. I don't know why it's kind of tilted in the camera. I don't know why. There, is that better? I hope so. Anyway, so that was kind of my little shelf tour thing. So for my goals, I'm really trying to focus on albums this year. I don't want to give myself too much lofty goals, but big goals. So I do want to finish Infinite's discography. I just need two left. And if you can see down there, CIX's discography, I just need two albums left. So I want to finish that. And I do want to get more GFriend and 17 albums like their older stuff but um i'm going to prioritize finishing cix and infinite first and just you know just keep up with all the comebacks that's more of a thing if i get older albums for gfriend and 17 if there's enough money and time then that would be great but yeah that's it for my shelf tour and my k-pop goals for the albums okay so on to my photo card goals and I wanted to show you guys what I did with my binders. So because I kind of, I, I'm a completionist at heart so I get really annoyed when I see pages or collections that I haven't been working on and yeah. So what I did was I kind of, for the ones, well for the idols that I am not like currently focusing on for this year in order to make myself be more focused because I get distracted by shiny nice things. Um, I decided to keep the main, like my main focus collections um, like at the, in my main binders and I moved like the non-focus ones in another binder, you'll see. So for example, for this one, for it, okay, so this binder, you've all seen this. So you've seen this binder. So this is my Infinite 17 binder. So this doesn't change because I'm still collecting OT7. Um, that doesn't change. Um, but for 17, here's where the change is. So I have my OT13 sets, but for members, I am only going to be focusing on um, collecting Joshua. Yeah, because as you can see, I have a long way to go and I get annoyed at myself because like for Hengare, I'm only missing um, like this card, this Hana card, a set card, and one net card. And I'm just like, why is it not yet done? So I'm focusing more on Joshua this year, but like my OT13 sets are still here because I get stuff like Season's Greetings and stuff like that. So that remains there. And then, because of space, don't mind those blank pages, that's, set, that's all set up for stuff, like OT13 stuff. And then, because I need needed um, a collection here that was, that could fit, well, gave room for expansion, I put ONF Hyojin here. So with this, so Wonwoo and DK are in another binder, but I'm still collecting them, but they're not my super big priority focus right now. Same with ONF, so right now I just have Hyojin here, he is my main focus. I still collect Ishan and MK, but um, they're not my focus for now. So yeah, and the OT6 sets are also here. The reason why this is also here is because I do plan to collect um, all six um, letters. So yeah, that's it for this first binder. Okay, so for this second binder, um, okay, let me just move you here. Um, the uh, binder is snagging on my corkboard, so that's not a good thing. Uh, okay, so here. Uh, this doesn't change. I'm still focusing a lot on Shindi and Yuju because I love them so much. And of course, this area will be expanding when uh, Yuju drops her solo debut, which is, as of the time I'm speaking, 
today and when Vivi's debuts I'm going to be collecting well all three members so <laughs> yeah so I'm really really attached to my Pentagon collection so um, a big 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 photo card goal for me this year is to finish Huey's photo card collection. Um, I still have a, a some way to go. I think the reason why I really want to finish a complete Huey's photo card collection this year is because I miss this boy so much. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that's Huey's stuff. Um, if I can finish Hong Sok and Kina as well, that would be like a super big plus but it's not like as a priority as Huey but for the upcoming comeback come back invite you I would like to finish Hong Sok's and Kino's photo cards this year and you know just keep up and everything so that was Pentagon oh yes and I do get their season's greetings like for the three of them because I love them so much and then for Golden Child, I've taken out Tag and Ju Chan from here for now. So I'll be focusing on finishing. Like, that, it's so annoying. I just need Jang Jun's reboot. So, um, yeah, and this one is reserved for a POB. So, yeah, I do wanna finish. Ooh, I do wanna finish Jang Jun's stuff for this year. Is this all Golden Child? No. Okay. For CIX. I still I still do um collect OT5, but they're not like a super huge priority. Like I can do this later on. Um but what I'm going to be doing uh, all these IDs keep on falling. What I'm going to be doing for wave onwards, because their photo cards are getting a lot. I'm just going to collect like one set for each version. Yeah, because for example, uh, one version has three photo cards, and I'll just pick I'll just pick my favorite set, and that's what I'll collect. So that's CIX, and then for Monster X, this is really sad. I don't have a lot of Minhyuk stuff, so yeah, that's why. See, it's super sad, it's all set up. I just don't have a lot of Minyuk stuff. I'd like to work on that this year. Um, and I'm collecting these, um, all of this. So I just need to finish these two. Um, yeah, and that was it for this binder. But the biggest photo card uh, priority uh, for me this year would be finishing Huey's photo card collection if I can do that this year and keep up with like the comebacks like let's say 17 makes a comeback I do want to complete it like before the year ends like that okay then we have this is still part of like the main focus collection so for the boys I still collect Young Hoon so yeah still need to finish his stuff um then for God 7 my focus is really Young J, Mark, and JB. Uh, I'm trying to prioritize Young J more than the other two because he is my um, he's my main bias in the group. For solos, for God Seven, I'm trying to get just one version um, each, and then try to fill up like a nine pocket page of their cards or something like that. So. Yeah, okay, so that was GOT7, and um, this is the, so this is like Wu and this this starts every, you know, all the other people, so Wu DK is here, Ishan, MK, they're all here, except, oh, and I also have my, um, okay, let's just... I also have my 2PM and FD Island collections here because I am not sure yet how I want to store it. Like, do I want to store it here in my main binders or do I want to move it to a smaller thing, a smaller binder? So that's why it's still, it's still in like a binder, but I'm not sure how I want to, you know, fix it. Um, my problem with 2PM and FD Island is the same with this. So for EXO, I am trying to just focus on Shumin and Chanyeol 
but priority would be Shuman. Um, but I can't let go of Kai's photo cards just yet. Um, and so very, very, the reason why this is in another binder is also because I don't know what to do. I mean, I want to keep them. I just don't know how I want to arrange them. Like if I want it in a big binder like this or a smaller binder. So I do have a Hyung and Youngsun over here. They're bigger inclusions and some of the bigger inclusions from one Wii as well. So my biggest problem is I would like to move them to a smaller binder like an A5 binder but I'm not sure if it would fit like the pages would fit something like this or something like these things um if you guys have experience with setting up A5 binders let me know how that goes and let me know if like what I could use like what pages I could use but then that would mean that I would give up on the bigger stuff like the sandy, which to be honest, I don't really need. I prefer like the postcards and just the photo cards. And this Polaroid set because it is awesome. It's just so cute. Yeah, to basically summarize, I'm trying to prioritize album over the photo cards this year. Specifically, um, I will be very, very happy if I'm able to keep up with comebacks and I'm able to finish the group discography of Infinite and CIX, I would be so happy. Photo card wise, if I get to complete Huey's photo card collection and the bigger inclusions because, you know, Cube doesn't really like to give us normal sized stuff. So anyway, if I can finish Huey's stuff, then I'd be super super happy. And if I can also just keep up with like the photo cards each comeback, then that would be great too. Yeah. And I think another goal for this year should be to figure out um, how I want to store some of these photo cards, like a in an A5 binder or like a, like a mini collect book or something. If you guys have any suggestions, please do um, let me know in the comments below. But yes, this was a pretty lengthy video and very chatty, but I hope that you guys enjoyed in a way and I was able to share with you guys my K-pop goals for this year. My biggest problem from last year was that there was so much merch fatigue but this year i kind of cut down on stuff like monster x i'm just gonna get uh, two versions i might not pre-order them as well it really depends because i'm trying to save up for some things personal things as well anyway that was basically it for my k-pop um shelf tour new binder tour updated binder tour and my k-pop 2022 goals i hope that everything made sense i hope you enjoyed this video um, go ahead and click that like button if you like the video and the subscribe button and the notification button because there's a lot there's gonna be a lot of fun content coming your way so I'm hoping well there's an unboxing that I'll be uploading soon and um, I have some leftover album inclusions from December that I do need to store so that will be in a photo card organizing video coming your way very very soon anyway thank you I hope you enjoyed I hope you had a good holidays happy new year welcome to 2022 uh, stay safe and healthy and until then I will see you in the next video bye